Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, soccer fans of all ages, this is Armand Colombo Field at Rocky Marciano Stadium, and today it hosts the second round of the MIAA South Sectional Tournament. It's the King Philip Warriors against your Brockton Boxers. As always, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and today I'm joined alongside my broadcast partner for tonight's festivities, Roberto Neves. Roberto, an 8 to 1 thrashing of Marshfield for the boxers in the first round. Do you foresee the same thing happening tonight against the eight seated Warriors? Well, depends to see how the Warriors come out with their game plan, how the coach went and prepared them this week. Hey, I knew that they they knew they were coming to a division one, you know, I mean the number one ranked team. And so they gotta bring their A game. But, you know, hopefully, you know, they can stand their own and give a good game against Brockton. But I could see Brockton taking this one. Well, can never have an easy afternoon or evening here. It's starting to rain, and it's starting to rain hard here at Marciano Stadium. King Philip is wearing their away green jerseys with white and gold trim. The boxers, on the other hand, showed up in their black jerseys with red and white trim. They were asked to change because you can't have two dark colored jerseys, so Brockton's wearing their home white jerseys with black shorts. Red and white trim. Looks good. New, uh, new, maybe a new style for them. Maybe it'll be a new thing. Might be. <laughs> so the interesting part of this is Brockton was asked to change. They didn't bring the other jerseys because they played Saturday in them. And there's only two, two days between matchups. Did not have time to wash all of the jerseys. So Brockton is going with a mixed look. Now it's number 16, Leonardo Texera. That comes with a few number changes that we're going to have to get used to. Yeah. Oh, nice cross. Now it's Luis Spinola with a shot blocked away by one of the King Philip defenders, and he's hobbling. He blocked that one right off the side of his ankle. Oof, that, that one's a stinger right there. Seems like Luis is going to go hard on that. Well, Fabio Andrade is the starting goalkeeper for the boxers. He is opposite <coughs> Jack Bush goalkeeper for the Warriors. Deep throwing is... I like the aggressiveness from the goalkeeper right there. We're going to have a corner kick for the boxers taken by your boy Odeir Montero. <laughs> Two goals, three assists last game for Mr. Montero. Yeah, Brock the Boxers got to get him hot again and go ahead and start making him work his turmoil over there and try to get a goal in there as soon as possible. Brockton working the short passing game. We'll see how the rain and the wet field affects that one. And the cross is just wide of Jonathan Rodriguez, who was trying to pound it home on the one-timer. And they're going to say it deflected out off of the Warriors. So Brockton will have, but King Phillip will have a throw in rather deep in their own territory, almost from the goal line. Yeah, I think the referee was just pointing. It was close to that corner flag over there for, for that throw. Yeah, Brockton with the throw in. It's going to be a very, really crazy wet day. What Brockton needs to do is keep possession, keep the ball on the ground, and keep the ball low. Make the goalkeeper make the save. DeRosa with a deep throw headed out the wrong way. Brockton is going to be unable to get there, and King Phillip clears it back across midfield. Three minutes left. Uh, three minutes into this first half, rather. <laughs> wow. Getting ahead of myself. Quick game. <laughs> Winner of this game moves on to face either the Braintree Womps or the Silver Lake Lakers. That game kicking off about an hour before this one. Oh. Uh, last check, a... about 15 minutes into the second half, Silver Lake was up 1-0 over oh. the Womps. Interesting. Very interesting. have an attack. It's King Phillip unable to clear it out. DeRosa stepping up in the midfield area. Now it's Spinola on the far side. Yeah. Of the shot. Oh. Off the post! Good go, Lewis. Good play, Lewis. That's the aggressiveness that Brockton needs to go ahead and get. Just go out there, keep on putting pressure. Keep on taking shots on them. Hopefully they can get one in. Going to be a throw in for the boxers as Luis Spinola ringing the post. Yeah. 
Got a little replay, too much pepper replay. in that. A little too much pepper. Throws a solid throw and headed away from the net. And King Phillip able to clear out. There's Depina spinning with it, lets it roll off of his backside back onto the King Phillips side of the field. I see what King Phillips doing. They're trying to keep possession of the ball, you know, trying to find the gaps and opening. And if they can keep on doing that against Brockton, I can see them putting in one inside the back of the net. They have to make sure, though, they can't make a mistake against this team. Why, why, why? That's a play. Yeah, okay. Now it's out of here, Montero. Trying to send it up Great for Texera, who can't quite catch on, up Wolf. with it. Just challenging Wolf. Spinola there you go. pressuring, he gains possession. There you go. And forced out of play by the Warriors. It's getting chippy down at Silver Lake. There's already been a couple of yellow cards given in that game. Expecting more is the reporter there. <laughs> yeah, well, yellow cards are going to come very often over here in, uh, in the tournament. These girls, these guys, getting their, their work, getting worked up, trying to win the game. Field goal is up and good from about 35 <laughs> yards out. Too bad we don't get extra points for those. It was Paulo Romalo launching that one through the uprights. That was a great flick from Tim Phillips. Nice pass right down the middle. Let's we'll see what Brockton can do. Brockton changing up their starting lineup just a bit. Spinola and Riven Rodriguez get the start up front for Brockton. Decided to go with fast kids from the top, trying to put the pressure be right in the beginning against them. It was a great job, great pressure from Brockton. Good job. King Phillips just kicking the ball away, giving, giving back possession to Brockton. That's Romalo sending it back up. King Phillip trying to turn it around here. So far, what I'm seeing right now is King Phillips is actually holding their own against Brockton. You know, Brockton's uh, making a couple mistakes. They didn't put away a couple goals going opportunities. You know what I mean? Uh, don't want to get, don't want teams to hang around that that long. You know, got to put them away. Well, the rain continuing to pick up here as the field gets. Slicker as the moments go by. The winner of this game faces off against either Silver Lake or Braintree. That game will be right here at Marciano Stadium as the neutral quote unquote site. Even if Brockton is in that game, this will be the neutral site. A great attack. Shot's going to go wide to the left, but Brockton getting a piece of it, so it'll be a corner kick for the Lakers. Uh, for the Warriors, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, well, King Phillips, you know, they're trying to make the attack first. They're trying to go ahead and put pressure first on this. Let's see what they do with this corner kick. Low kick into the box, deflected out by Brockton, but King Phillips still threatening. A little chip shot is popped into the awaiting arms of Fabio Andrade. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Brockton needs to settle the ball down to get it control. They're losing too much. There's two teams in talking with their coaches playing a similar style of soccer. It's that European Quick. short passing game. Tiki tacky, I'd say. Tiki tacky. Tiki -tacky. <laughs> Tiki tacky play, soccer play. Quick one, two touch, three, eight touch at the most. King Phillips has a really good uh, soccer program for the kids as well, too. Very well taught. So they faced off against Braintree in the South Sectional semis last year. Braintree getting the better of that one. 
head coach Herminio Furtado has been doing his homework traveling around the state. He said he's been to see King Philip twice this year. Braintree and Silver Lake each a couple of times, anticipating that they might be potential matchups in the tournament. It's good homework from him. That's a good call. Nice push. Push from the back. Injured player out in the field right now. That's number 10. Boxer down. Right at the 50 Gomes. yard line. Junior Gomes. It's number 10. Looks like it's the senior co captain, Junior Gomes. He's missed a few games earlier in the season due to injury. Uh, we got to keep him healthy. One of the goal scorers, one of the many goal scorers last game against Marshfield. Brockton shielding this one out of play, getting pushed down was Montero. Jalen DeRosa is going to take the throw. Deep throw right into the box. Brockton unable to get a shot off, and the Warriors able to clear out. Warriors is doing a great job just keeping possession. Ooh, tough foul. Smart foul, tough foul though. Free kick from just outside of the 50 yard line for the Warriors. I love how all the boxes just come back, play defense. Not one of them is just standing up there. There's only one forward and everybody dropping back. My philosophy, all of them play defense, all of them attack. Offsides against King Philip. Andrade sending this one back to the halfway point. King Philip right back the other way. This is number 10, Tyler Mann, the senior co captain, sending it up. It's Gomes uh, getting tripped up and losing possession. Cannot play in the back, <laughs> especially cutting right down the middle. Montero that had some space to work it up the sideline instead of opting to send it long. This is Leonardo Texera stopping with it. King Phillip takes over on downs. There's Larson Keys forcing the turnover. Great clearance. Deflected off of King Phillips. Good sized crowd here at Marciano Stadium. King Phillip traveling very well up from Rentham. Yeah. They've got a good support fan group, and let me tell you that. That's good. It's good to see that. Brockton taking over across the 50. Wow. Held on to that ball just a little bit too long on the far side. He had a couple of guys open in the middle of the field. He fell in love with that dribble too much. Oh. Rodriguez tripped up from behind, no call. Brockton's going to send it into their bench. Jodair Montero clearing it out of bounds. And Philip pressuring the boxers probably more than we've seen every team, save for New Bedford, pressure the boxers, especially so early in the game. Well, you know, one thing about being the number one team in the state is, you know, everybody's coming after you. So <laughs> King Phillips probably did their homework against the boxers and probably studied them pretty well. The coach probably did as well, too. Brock just has to come out there and start performing the team that they are. That's 
Just north of 25 minutes to go here in the first half. Still scoreless between the King Philip Warriors and the Brockton Boxers. Now it's Montero with the cross, oh. and it's out the other side, past the diving Leonardo Texera. <laughs> Brockton's getting the sniff at it. I'll tell you that, they're trying to get that ball in. Montero was down. Might have just been tying his shoe, but slow to get up in the corner. <laughs> oh, probably just saying, oh man, I can't believe he missed that. It was a good cross. It was. Excellent cross. Nobody on the receiving end for Bar Brockton. See the crowd's filling in pretty well again. Rain has started to let up. Very warm night here. Very unusual. Figuratively <laughs> speaking, I mean, of course we're in New England then. This would have been considered frozen a month and a half ago. <laughs> yeah, I know. King Philip takes over back across the 50. Brockton able to regain possession. Rodriguez fighting for it, trying to create space, is not able to do so, and King Philip is able to send it back towards midfield. Holmes with a 35-yard shot, and it goes wide. Unseasonably warm. We were told it might hit record temperature here, and we're going to have a King Phillip timeout. Timeout called on the field by King Phillips. King Phillips is playing one. King Phillips is doing the job today. You know, holding their end against Brockton right now. Moving the ball around. Defense is definitely having their work cut out there. Yeah. Injury substitution for the Warriors, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. It is 63 degrees right now. Winds could play a factor in this one. Gusts of 13 miles an hour directly to the west. That is towards the Brockton net right now. Very humid, 93% humidity in the air, so it's a heavy, windy air that is not helped by the rain that continues to pour down. The field, as we've seen early in this one, has been very slick. Yeah. That's why if either team wants to score, they have to shoot low onto the ground make that team keeper save. Gomes, the dribbling a little bit too far. He had the great, he had a great touch. It's just dribbled in a little too far in front of him. Excellent term to describe it. By not so newly named athletic director, Kevin Cairo, the ball is hydroplaning. Nice. King Phillip drawing closer to the Brockton net. Derek DePina. That's Mascarenas. Cross looking for Louis Spinola on the far side. Doesn't connect. But King Phillip sending it out of play. Time out, Brockton. Brockton timeout indeed call calls their timeout out. with 21.56 to go. And a scoreless first half in the second round of the MIAA South Sectional Tournament. It's the King Philip Warriors and the Brockton Boxers. We're going to step aside and take a quick breather and bring you the remainder of the first half right after this. Green hat. Red hat. Oops. <laughs>
Red shirt, blue shirt, <laughs> yellow shirt. Oops. <laughs> Red pants, Daddy. green pants, <gasps> oops. <laughs> <laughs>you all had a good weekend and are ready to be inspired. One quick thing I want to remind you guys to be studying. Major key alert. Did you just look at your phone while you was in class? You played yourself. Today we're talking about inspirational quotes. You want to get that paper? You better turn in that paper and get an A+. That's a major key. Another one. Another Mogul talk. You want to reach the mountaintop? You got to go hard. To succeed, you have to believe. Stay focused, fly higher than the eagle. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it, so make it. Louise. Louise, can you give me an example of an inspirational quote from recent history? Don't play yourself. The key is to make it. And who said that? I did. Now that's a major key alert. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at getschool.com. get caught buzz driving, and you could do some hard time. Craig, knock it off. Sorry, Mom. It could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. And that could set you back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Here's your check. You, you got it. You know, since I got rid of my car, I really enjoy walking. Okay. Got it. No? No. Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Oh, you're home early. You live with your mom? That'll set your game back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Welcome back in to Marciano Stadium, where we are scoreless between the... King Philip Warriors and your Brockton Boxers in the second round of the MIAA South Sectional Tournament. It's the number one seeded Boxers, 15, one and two on the year against the 10, seven and one Warriors, the eighth seed. The winner of this game will face off against either Silver Lake or Braintree. Silver Lake, the number four seed, at 13, 3, and 3. And Braintree is all the way down at number 12. The one matchup that Brockton does not want to see, and we've confirmed this with head coach Arminio Furtado. Talking to him before the game, I said, geez, you know what I would really love to see? A south sectional final between New Bedford and Brockton. And oh. he says, oh, God, no. We don't want to go through that again. I was speaking that I was speaking about that with my father, and uh, he was telling me that New Bedford was in the other side of the bracket, and I was like, "Oh God, man, that's going to be crazy if they get to see each other three times in one year." New Bedford is the three seed at 13, one and four. One of those four draws is to Brockton here at Marciano Stadium, and one of those wins came in the last game of the regular season against the Boxers down in New Bedford. Is this one? Ping pongs all the way across the end line. It'll be a goal kick for the boxers. Or oh, hydroplane. Oh, it <laughs> definitely did. Hydroplane couldn't slow down. <laughs> so the big story of the later half of the season was, well, Brockton is undefeated. Can they continue it? They got all the way to the last game of the regular season. The pressure was high. And they had to travel down to New Bedford in the last game before the tournament seedings were released. Two to one, a very close game. But New Bedford getting the upper hand. And I was talking with Coach and I said, well, I'd rather the loss come in the regular season than in the playoffs. Oh yeah, definitely. Get that, get that loss out the way. You know, and just, you know, see how they do. Now they don't have the pressure of, okay, we got to be undefeated during the season. 
or anything like that. Oh, this one chipped up, oh, and it's God. saved very nicely by the King Philip goalkeeper. And it'll be a corner kick for Montero Montero. Tremendous the dive up in the air. Uh, Nick Belter Armini. Excellent save by Nick Beltramini. As Montero sends this one up and out. <laughs> and it'll be a goal kick for the Warriors. That was an amazing save by Nick. Great job. Stretched out, punched it off. I mean, there's a lot there's a lot of factors here. The, the field is wet. You have to have good traction getting off the ground, or you're not going to be able to dot to gauge the drive, uh, the dive, excuse me, the right way. And he timed it absolutely perfectly. He's on his P's and Q's today. That's King Philip. A little bit of pressure. Andrade shanks this one into the Brockton bench. Got a little nervous on that. Didn't focus on the kick. Get it down the field. Give it up to King Phillips, though. They are fighting with this Brockton team. You know, something not many people expected to see was a close matchup such as this. Brockton was expected to just kind of run the table and dominate everybody up until the final. Hey. And King Phillip is taking it to the boxers. You cannot underestimate the underdog sometimes. Brockton right now are playing very sloppy not knowing who they're passing it to. They're not looking at, they're not keeping their heads up and they're making very bad judgment passes right now. And you know what? If King Phillips capitalize on their mistakes, then that's on Broughton's fault. Quick, quick, quick. Ribbon's right there. Broughton was aiming for the quick restart. Russ blowing the whistle. And Depina sending it up. Derek Depina, senior co-captain, is a back heel bicycle. It is saved by Beltramini. A shot out of nowhere, kind of, kind of popped up. I think this weather is uh, affecting the goalkeepers with their kicking abilities. Texera was able to. Get a little bit of space vertically between his foot and the ball and dove to the ground and stuck his leg up in the air and sent it towards net. Oh, here's a breakaway. King away. Phillip in a breakaway, a shot. And a save by Andrade. Great save. And then Brockton's going to shield it. And able to create some separation and now sending it back up towards midfield. Save of the game so far for Fabio Andrade. As this one's in and it's shanked out, but it'll be a throw in for the Warriors as their fan base comes alive. That kick that uh, Tixera did, we used to call they those call donkey, those kicks. Those donkey kicks. Donkey kicks. <laughs> donkey kicks. I like it. <laughs> this one's sent into Fabio Andra and he holds on. 15 minutes left, still scoreless, but the Warriors are pressuring in something we have not seen here at Marciano Stadium is the opposing team score first. Yeah, well, you know, King Phillips is actually doing a great job, you know, keeping possession of the ball, keeping the ball away from the Brockton defenders, you know, and Brockton just is not capitalizing. Doing very bad decisions and turning it into pressure. Rain has come to an end, at least for the moment here. At Marciano Stadium. Oh, 
Coming on net. As Texera can't catch up to it. Now he's being pressured from behind and now foot skills and it's going to be carried over the end line, a goal kick for the Warriors. They need to get Texera out of, out of there right now. Coach needs to have a talk with him. Seems like the words of the night for Brockton up front is extra move. Brockton forwards are trying to make the extra move as opposed to just throwing it on net and seeing what comes of it. Yeah, well, they want to be a little bit too fancy. They want to get a little close to the net to make that perfect shot. But sometimes you got to take that shot when you see it. King Phillips is not going to give you any time to go ahead and, and, and set up for a shot. Now we're going to see Edson Lopes come into the game for Brockton. He can really open up the field. Excellent foot skills and good awareness of who's where for Lopes. He's going to come in alongside Paolo Romalo on the back line. Maybe a King Philip throw in. King Phillips substitution number 15, Ian Zimmerman. Ian Zimmerman is going to come into the game for the Warriors. Brockton substitution number 11, Edson Lopes. A little bit of a surprise, it's Jonathan Rodriguez coming out of the game for the boxers as opposed to Leonardo Texera. Mm. Surprise. And Riven Rodriguez as well. decision from King Phillips to play the ball back, keep possession of the ball, spread out Brockton's defense, and see if you can find those gaps. Headed up for the Warriors. Miss header as Brockton will regain possession. It's Edson Lopes. Ball ping-ponging around to Daniel Andrade. Now back to Odair Montero is uh, what was that? little chip pass doesn't compute to Daniel Andrade. He's able to gain possession. And King Phillip taking over. We have an injured warrior on the 30 yard line. And the official stopping play. Be interesting to see if we have a drop kick here. No team had clear possession. And here comes Jerry. John Cullen is going to replace the injured warrior. Well, we have a break in the action. The Brockton Boxing Boys would like to... Andrew Thompson. Congratulate for coming to this game, the Brockton cheerleaders. Thank you very much. Team sports camaraderie. Love it. Well, in the game we're keeping track of, it's 1-0 Silver Lake on top of Braintree with about six minutes left. King Phillips injury substitution, number two, John Cullen. We're going to see a Brockton free kick here. Game of interest for both of these teams. The other game being played, Silver Lake is beating Braintree one nothing. A lot of family coming to support. Long stoppage here. 
for the officials. Brockton's going to wind up with a free kick. I would have to say this has been very good officiating so far. Signs of an indirect free kick. Derek Tapina taking this one, chipping it up. And King Phillip able to clear it out of immediate danger. Uh, this one's going to go wide. Unbelievable. About 10 minutes left in the first half. We are. Still scoreless, but so far you got to give the edge to the King Philip Warriors. Definitely, yeah. I'm very surprised that they're still 0 0 at this time right now. I would have assumed that Brockton would have had already put one or two away, and they had the opportunity to do it, just couldn't finish. This is the longest Brockton has gone without scoring a goal at home this season is this one's going to be a corner kick for the boxes Edson Lopes applying the pressure and it was cleared out by Brian McCarthy that's great low kick is going to be loose in the box and King Phillip able to send it back out now Mascarenas with some fancy footwork and now Odair Montero on the side he goes down, able to keep the ball in bounds, and gets it back to Gomes, who's tripped up. And King Phillips gonna earn the throw in. Thomas Lugton coming into the game for the Warriors. And a push off against Lugton. Free kick from just about the 50 yard line. The peanut is going to take it for the boxers. Headed right back out by the Warriors as we have about eight and a half minutes left in the first half. Great ball. This one headed toward net, picked up by Beltramini, the junior goalkeeper. I think Brock is actually uh, realizing that <laughs> this is not going to be an easy win for them today. They've had battles here before, especially against New Bedford, but Severian put up a good fight as well. They're gonna have to do the same here tonight. with a good self pass and he's got some space. Oh, yeah. Sending it through to Texera. Texera with some space. His shot hey. and a goal for the boxers. Leonardo Texera from Edson Lopes with seven minutes to go in the first half. That was beautiful play. Nice threading the defense right down the middle, right between the legs. Got Texera wide open, used his big body, created space, turned around, took the shot, bottom corner. Excellent, excellent textbook play. That goal, equal parts effort from Edson Lopes and Leonardo Texera. Both had defenders draped all over them and both able to create some space with the phenomenal footwork. Exactly, first touching and keeping the ball close to you is the most important thing in this game. And they did it perfectly well to execute for that goal. It's 1-0 Brockton with 6.20 to go in the first half. Simple, simple. 
Uh, we're just giving the possession right back to King Phillips. Yo, Stefano, come on. King Phillips pushing the ball up. On the quick counter attack on Brockton. Great defense. Getting the jersey pulled. But keeping possession of the Brockton boxes. Mascarenas sending it up. Andrade back to Montero. Smart. Smart to Lewis. Very good smart. Now Spinola on the far side. Brockton's starting to put the pressure now on King Phillips. He's on the roster. Normally he's 18, but uh, today he's 16. Bernardo Texera. Assisted by uh, number 11, that's in Lopez. DeRosa sending this one in loose. Brockton not able to get a shot off just yet, but still with possession. And a shot, it's gonna go through the football uprights. Right over the bar too. Yeah, typically he's 18, but today he's wearing 16. So it's Edson Lopes sending it to Leonardo Texera, the icebreaker in this one. It was a great play. From both of them being on the same page, they didn't even need to communicate. Just look at each other and they knew what they were going to do on that attack. Awesome job. Let's see what King Phillips can do. Paulo Romalo sending this one out of play. McCarthy has it, sending it up, and Brockton able to get it to their goalkeeper. Fabio Andra diving on it to create some safety with three and a half minutes left, waste some time. I think Brockton's perfectly okay with going into the half with a one nothing lead after the way this first half has panned out. Uh, well, if kind I of was, calming down. And if I'm coach yeah, Arminio, I would definitely talk to them about you know, the missed shots that we had, the missed available shots. We're leaving points on the field in the first half. You know, we got to capitalize on that. We can't let teams hang in there too long. Definitely would be happy, though, to go in the, in the first half with a 1-0 lead, but definitely should have been a little bit more. This one cleared, but out of play, and it'll be a, a throw in for the Warriors. Two and a half minutes to go now in the first half. Okay, and a excellent. Bad first touch for the Warriors is going to lead to a Brockton goal kick. What we ask to all soccer players your first touch. First touch is the most important touch. It's like a first impression. Exactly. Just about two minutes to go here in the first half. Official time kept on the field. Brockton leading one nothing off of a goal from Leonardo Texera. Edson Lopes with the beautiful assist on that goal. This just in, Silver Lake has won their game against Braintree, one to nothing, the final score in that one. And they will play here at Marciano Stadium against one of these teams on Wednesday night. Could be very interesting. Silver Lake is a really good team. According to what I heard in the, in the sources over here, 
Well, Silver Lake's the four seed. They come in to the postseason at 13-3-3. And, and they defeated Durfee in the first round. That game 4-3 in penalty kicks. That was the big story. A first round matchup going to penalty kicks. Yeah. We've seen it here a few times in the last nice. half a dozen years for Brockton. And defeating Braintree by one to nothing. So they've had close games in the early goings of the MIAA South Sectional Tournament. Yeah, I mean, well, it's the tournament, man. Yeah, everybody's going to go ahead and play hard. Thank you. Lopes taken down, and it will be a free kick from the 50 with about 45 seconds to go. We're entering more now of the Sweet 16 for them. <laughs> Depina sending this one back towards the King Philip goal. Out the other side, can Brockton catch up to it? The answer is yes, but committing a push. Oh, good foul. Set him back to the goal line. That's a pretty good foul. Foul against King Philip Brockton. Grabbing the check. Not much time left here. Brockton's going to be pushed back about five yards. Sure about that? Maybe it's four and a half. Mendoza. Yeah, four and a half. <laughs> Mendoza taking the kick for the boxers. Saying it right in on net oh. and right over the crossbar within about a foot. Nice shot, Mario. Tremendous shot from Mario over there. Good shot, Mario. I know he's going to be thinking about that shot when he gets home. <laughs> the whistles blow in the first half has come to an end. An interesting one, something we didn't expect to see. King Philip winning the first maybe 36 minutes of the first half. Brockton finally able to break through. It's going to be a very, very evenly matched second half. I believe so. I think these both teams are going to go in there. Coaches are going to rev them up and tell them, this is what we need to do and what we need to do and improve. King Phillips is going to definitely put the pressure on Brockton in the second half. Brockton's got to go ahead and make sure they're comfortable accepting that pressure and learning how to play against it. Leonardo Texera with the lone tally. Talk about the play from Edson Lopes to Texera to set up that goal. Oh, it was a great play by Edson Lopes. He, what he did was he just thread the two defenders and passed it right in there. And then when got a nice chance, got a nice opening, Texera using his big body, pushing off a defender, not using his hands by pushing off, but using his shoulder, using his body, open up the space, seemed to target on that, placed it where he was supposed to place it. It was just an excellent, excellent textbook play for that. Well, it's one nothing. The boxers leading the Warriors at halftime. We're going to step aside and take a short break and bring you second half action right after this. Green hat. Red hat. Oops. <laughs> Red shirt, blue shirt, yellow shirt, oops. <laughs> yellow pants, red pants, green pants, oops. <laughs> Good morning. Hope you all had a good weekend and are ready to be inspired. One quick thing I want to remind you guys to be studying. Major key alert. Did you just look at your phone while you was in class? You played yourself. Today we're talking about inspirational quotes. You want to get that paper? You better turn in that paper and get an A+. That's a major key. Another one. Another. Mogul talk. You want to reach the mountaintop? You got to go hard. To succeed, you have to believe. Stay focused, fly higher than the eagle. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it, so make it. Louise. Louise. 
Can you give me an example of an inspirational quote from recent history? Don't play yourself. The key is to make it. And who said that? I did. Now that's a major key alert. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at GetSchool.com. Get caught buzz driving, and you could do some hard time. Craig, knock it off. Sorry, Mom. It could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. And that could set you back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Here's your check. Oh, you, you got it. You know, since I got rid of my car, I really enjoy walking. Okay. Got Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Oh, you're home early. You live with your mom? That'll set your game back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, soccer fans of all ages, welcome back into Marciano Stadium for second half action between the King Philip Warriors and the Brockton Boxers, once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. Joined alongside Roberto Neves, an interesting first half, one in which King Philip really took it to the Brockton Boxers for the greater majority of it, probably three quarters of the first half. Mm. King Philip was pressuring on the Boxers' offensive side of the field. Yeah, they were definitely putting pressure on the Boxers. Let's see what they're going to do now to answer back on the second half. And the goaltenders have been strong. For Brockton, it's been Fabio Andrade working with the clean sheet so far. And on the other side, on the other side, it's Nick Beltramini, the junior holding the boxers at bay. Now Leonardo Texera with a lot of space, a lot of time. His shot, a one-handed save, and on the oh. rebound off the post. That's That's and goal. in. Edson Lopes says that one kind of off the post, bounced in the ground, worked its way back up, got tangled in the net, and hung there. Mad Dog, what did I say? You take it off to the side, the way you're going to go ahead and try to score a goal, you shoot it low and off to the corners. The goalkeeper's made a tremendous save. However, he did let go of the deflection, and Edson was right there to clean it up. Edson Lopes unassisted. He's got a foot in both of the boxer goals. That one's so exciting that Fabio Andrade ran 109 <laughs> yards north to join in the boxer celebration. Is he playing the right football? <laughs> Kickoff return for a touchdown. <laughs> a minute and a half into the second half, and we've already got another goal. My official prediction is five goals scored total in the second half. For which side? Have to see. For which side? Both that sides. Side. Both sides. I'm not, I'm not calling three, <laughs> three one way to the other or four and one. Five goals total in the second half. Ah, okay. Let's see. Yes! If you're a head coach, Herminio Furtado, you can't ask for a better start to the second half than that. Oh, yeah. Well, I think that what he did is um, really talk to them and told them, hey, you guys, we got to put the ball away. We had opportunities to score. Hit off the post, uh, miscommunication on some of them as well too. It, it, he probably just told them, let's calm down, let's relax, let's try to find our, play, our game. Don't let them change our style of game, our style of play. So it's King Philip that's back on its heels after having a tremendous first half against the boxers, not able to punch one through but very successful against a team that not many people have been able to do that so far. Now it's Luis Spinola, his shot. It's going to go wide to the right. That was a great shot, great, uh, great attempt. You know, maybe I would have done an extra pass on that, but, you know, it is in the season. You do want to go ahead and try to score, put some balls in the back of that. I see what he was going with with that, but definitely let's control the game. They're up 2-0. Put one more ball in the back of the net. Will be good. Great judge. All right, 
It's Brockton that has tilted the field early in this second half. Andrade has not been tested. Well, Brockton's going, doing a great job putting pressure in the second half against King Phillips. It's kind of like a reversal play. When King Phillips is actually doing more pressure than Brockton on the first half. So, uh, you know, I, like I said, I think that Coach Firmino just told him, you know, we got to change it up. We got to change the styles of play. Now it's Gomes that has shifted to the right front side. Lo Spinola working with it, trying to create some separation and sending it out of play off of one of the Warriors. Will be a boxer throwing Jalen DeRosa hmm. to do the honors. Let's see what Brockton can do. Go ahead and capitalize on this. Great clearance. Great clearance. Brockton firing off a one-time shot into the legs of the Warriors, and it winds its way out of bounds. If you could see what Brockton's doing, you could see Spinola. He's trying to spread out, spread out the field so they can go ahead and have a cross over it, you know. And King Phillips is not even paying attention to him on that side. Andrade sending this one up, and Brockton getting into a dangerous situation there as Andrade was about 40 yards out of his net as Spinola has it now, his little chip pass. For Texera, Texera stopping with it, or rather it's Gomes. And King Philip able to clear up. <laughs> referees correcting themselves. One referee was pointing for Broughton, the other referee had to correct them, let them know that it deflected off of Broughton, it's King Phillips' possession. Andrew Thompson into the game for the Warriors as they try it now to draw this one closer. Brockton. Something after watching the first 25 minutes of the first half, I didn't think I'd hear myself saying. Mm. Gonna be A silly foul. push against the boxers. It's Luis Spinola. Getting tangled up with the Warriors. See, the boss is about to do another change in there. Number 25, um, Eric Brito. They're going to be changing the midfield, give them some time. Brockton with it again on King Phillips side of the field. Oh, good. Little chip and still loose. Can Brockton get a shot off? No, King Phillip sending it back towards midfield. That was a great save by the keeper. Great save, came out, made himself big. One touch passing for Spinola and Gomes. Gomes working his way up the sideline. Able to stop it with his back heel, send it back to Spinola. Spinola's cross is going to deflect off of one of the Warriors and out of play. That was a great play, nice cross. Rock and substitution number 25, Eric Brito. And they changed the midfield. Brito in. Brito's going to play on the left side. And they're going to have Odea Montero to play on the right side. He's switching up the sides on that. It's a little Spinola coming out. So Brockton sending a little bit more power into midfield, taking a little bit of offensive pressure off. Yeah, it was. Right now, the two, if you get one more goal in, you're up for three. Now you want to go ahead and just play possession. And just try to win out the game. The winner of this game will face off against the Silver Lake oh, yeah. Lakers as this one's going to deflect in. Three to the again. 
And Oak it's score. it's in Lopes on Beautiful the Lopes. goal from Eric Brito, fresh into the game. Edson Lopes have a game. Two goals and an assist so far for the junior forward for the boxers. Edson Lopes assisted by number 25, Eric Guido. That was a great goal by Anton Lopes. He just went up for the ball and came in, used his head, and instead of, I see a lot of these kids in this age just try to head the ball and head the ball up. He headed it down onto the ground and made it an impossible angle for a goalkeeper to make the save. It was just amazing. Just an amazing play. Team double substitution number eight, Eric Wilson. Eric Wilson into the game for King Philip as they're suddenly stumbling against the potent boxer offense. Two goals in the first 10 minutes for Brockton of the second half. They lead three to nothing. Well, Brockton's not giving up. They're just trying to put the pressure in there and tell them that. Good stop, kick. And Beltramini with a good save. That was a good stop on the keeper. Keeper's playing really good for King Phillips. You can't really ask him for more than that. Rodeir Montero going to take this corner kick, the corner kick and free kick specialist for the boxers. <laughs> Just like his brother. Just like his brother back in the good old days. Yeah. This one sent all the way through and out the other side. It's going to be off of Brockton. If I'm King Phillips right now, I don't want to panic. I don't want to don't want to go ahead and worry too much right now. We definitely have to put a ball in the back of the net. This one threw the football uprights. If I'm King Phillip, I'm calling a timeout right here. Oh, yeah, I would too, just to try to regroup. i try to tell them not to panic. I mean, we still have a lot more time. You know, let's get one in there first, and let's see if we can get another one and another one after. Brockton with more pressure and offsides against Odair Montero. A little bit of shank for Romalo. Got to go ahead and keep the ball down onto the ground. Play the ball on the ground. Good job from King Phillips going ahead and putting pressure on the Brockton. Twelve minutes into the second half, Brockton with two goals in the first ten minutes. King Phillip, what seems like its first bit of possession in the boxer end of the field. Now it's, who else but Edson Lopes in again. His little roller for Texera doesn't connect. And King Phillips going to send it out of play. That's a great job. Obstructed view behind the big guy. Yeah, you've got an obstructed view seat here. I'm sorry. Corner, 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 corner. Mm -hmm. The corner kick for the boxers. Winner of this game, Silver Lake is going to travel here to Marciano Stadium on Wednesday night. And oh, another goal for the boxers. Odair Montero to Junior Gomes in front. He's the corner kick specialist for a reason. Hey man, just like his brother, nice curve into the back of the net. And it is a beautiful finish on the backside of the offensive player. Brockton crowd is getting pumped up and getting ready. I think they're getting ready to go ahead and move on to the next challenge. Captain Junior Gomes, assisted by number 20, Odier Montero. 
And King Philip is indeed going to burn their time out. Three goals in the first 14 minutes of the second half for Brockton. They lead the Warriors four to nothing with 26 and a half to go. We're gonna take a quick breather and bring you the remainder of the second half right after this. Green hat, red hat, oops. <laughs> Red shirt, blue shirt, <laughs> yellow shirt, oops. <laughs> yellow pants, red pants, green pants, <gasps> oops. <laughs> Morning. Hope you all had a good weekend and are ready to be inspired. One quick thing I want to remind you guys to be studying. Major key alert. Did you just look at your phone while you was in class? You played yourself. Class, today we're talking about inspirational quotes. You want to get that paper? You better turn in that paper and get an A+. Plus. That's a major key. Another one. Another. Mogul talk. You want to reach the mountaintop? You got to go hard. To succeed, you have to believe. Stay focused, fly higher than the eagle. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it, so make it. Louise, Louise, can you give me an example of an inspirational quote from recent history? Don't play yourself. The key is to make it. And who said that? I did. Now that's a major key alert. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at getschool.com. Get caught buzz driving, and you could do some hard time. Craig, knock it off. Sorry, Mom. It could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. And that could set you back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Here's your check. Got it. You know, since I got rid of my car, I really enjoy walking. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Oh, you're home early. You live with your mom? That'll set your game back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Welcome back into Marciano Stadium, where the boxers have turned it on early in this Second half, they lead the King Philip Warriors four to nothing in the second round of the MIAA South Sectional Tournament. Edson Lopes is having himself quite a game. Two goals and an assist. The last boxer marker, however, a corner kick from Odair Montero to the co-captain Junior Gomes. King Philip now with an opportunity on the other end of the field. I think the coach talked to King Phillips and just said, "Hey, you guys, you know what? We're down 4-0. We got to go ahead and put one in now." <laughs> Throw in for the Warriors. King Philip dominating the first part of this game. Absolutely dominating. Brockton called a timeout. Nothing came of it in the immediate aftermath of that timeout, but able to turn it on and do so in spectacular fashion here in the second half. And a little push for Riven Rodriguez. <laughs> He's just, uh, you know, a little too excited. He wanted to go ahead and win that. For those keeping score at home, the Boxers have now put up 12 goals in the last. Ooh, I don't know about that. So the Boxer down in the corner. That was a pretty tough call on that foul. Seemed like King Phillips did win that ball before he, he tackled the person, but. It'll be a free kick for the boxers, very deep, almost a corner kick. <laughs> Odair special. Can we order the Odair special? He's gonna curve this one out, expect a low kick, trying to bounce it around off some bodies for Montero. 
Oh. Very low kick, and it's loose. Can Brockton get a shot off? Yes, saved by Beltramini. And this one, no doubt about it, pounded top shelf. Brockton putting pressure on the defensive end. Defensive end has no answers. They have to clear the ball away out against this team. They're putting too much pressure on them. Great job for Brockton to go ahead and take the advantage of it. Great job. It's going to be... Number 23 on the goal, Felipe Pinto. No, no, no. Mario Mendoza, 28. 28. Well, Mario Mendoza credited with the goal for the boxers. And we have a change at goalkeeper for Brockton now that they have themselves a lead. It's going to be Dalton Rocha in for Fabio Andrade. Andrade working with the clean sheet so far. Brockton goals scored in the 23rd minute of the second half Thank by you. number 28, Mario Mendoza. Thank you. Hey, miss. It's King Phillips going to have a free kick. 23 minutes to go from dangerous territory. Let's see what King Phillips does with this possession. Directly on net, and it's going to find its way wide. They stop the pressure. Let's see what Brockton, what they do, they go ahead and put the pressure on them, and they do a nice chip in there. King Phillips did a great chip inside there, and they just stopped on the pressure. They need to continue. They need to go ahead and put that pressure if they're trying to put one ball in the back of the net. So last game, we saw the change at goalkeeper in the second half with about 25 minutes remaining. It was David Isaac in relief of Fabio Andrade. With that game handle, handily won by the boxers. I think it was 5-1 when Isaac came into the game. Oh, and now a missed handle and able to recover is Beltramini. But it's now Dalton Rocha in for Fabio Andrade and talking with Coach Furtado before the game. I said... If this one gets out of hand, are we going to see Rocha into the game for some time in the playoffs? And he said, you read my mind. We, we had Isaac in there last game. And it is indeed Dalton Rocha in for the boxers. Five to nothing just about halfway through this second half. Hey, I think your prediction is coming true, Mad Dog. I think, uh, you know, just five goals. Not saying out. which team. <laughs> All I'm saying is that there's going to be one more goal scored in the second half. <laughs> so it's Brockton on top big as they... Attempts to continue their magical season, 15-1-2. and two. Now one loss coming in the last game of the regular season against New Bedford. That was a great, great read by King Phillips on that. Come on, Derek. Come on, Derek. You're going to get beat on this one. Hey! hey. Stupid foul. <laughs> and the other four teams... On the other side of the bracket that we don't have to worry about quite yet, but if we get past Silver Lake on Wednesday, it's going to be Wellesley, Weymouth, New Bedford, or Needham. Ooh, nice. Those are some good teams. Wow. Wellesley, the number two seed, 13-2-1 two on the year. New Bedford right behind them at number three, 13-1-4 for the Whalers. Then we go down a little bit to the number 10, Weymouth, 8-6-4 on the year for the Wildcats. Well, Weymouth has always been a good team, always good, had a good program there. So it's gonna be interesting. They always do good in the playoffs. If Brockton should make it to the South Sectional Final, it'll be Saturday night at 6.15 p.m. at Whitman Hanson High. If Brockton does indeed make it that far, Brockton Community Access will be there. 
won't have to go far to find a neutral site. No. And this one is if Brockton continues this one the way it has been going. Yeah. The neutral site is Marciano Stadium. <laughs> it's very fortunate for them on that. Not so far of a commute for them to get out there, but definitely an exciting. And we'd like to see how the crowd acts, um, are, is on Wednesday. Definitely. And it came down to the neutral site being Brockton High a couple of years ago in the state semifinals. Yes. Lincoln Sudbury came down and completely shocked the boxers. Yeah, I mean. And that was the undefeated asterisk season. The asterisk there because there were 22 games scheduled that year for the boxers. Brockton was able to exclude two of them from their playoff record. But having to forfeit two of them yeah and that caused them to drop a few seeds they were the weight team in that matchup against Lincoln Sudbury but the game was here and Lincoln Sudbury able to get the victory in that one to end the boxers hopes of a state uh, state title I mean boxes uh, oh, oh, oh beautiful save punched out by Beltramini Good and it'll be a corner kick for the boxers. That save right there was a textbook save right there from the keeper. Beautiful leap, dive right across the field. Awesome. Number four. Brennan Gomes into the game, the senior co captain on defense for the boxers. He replaces Derek DePina. Patron Cafe, absolutely. Everybody has their vices, it's amazing. <laughs> 17 minutes and 15 seconds to go in the second half. Brockton is up and they're up big, five to nothing to score. I cannot believe this is the two teams play. And it's night and day between what we saw in the first half. Yep. Hey, I mean, like I said, when it comes to halftime, when coach starts yelling at you, you know, being the team that Brockton is, they said, you know what, we got to go ahead and do better. We have to do better. Well, you can tell something was clearly off with the boxers early in that first half. Must be the new uniforms they have on. This one loose in the box. Can Brockton get a shot off? No. Oh. And we're going to have a penalty kick. <laughs> I called it coming into the second half. I said there's going to be five goals scored here total. Not saying which team. Not saying if it's going to be. Three for one, one for the other. It's Jonathan Rodriguez going against Nick Beltramini for an opportunity of the fifth goal. Jonathan likes going low left all the time. As the reins pick up here at Marciano Stadium, a penalty kick with 15.45 to go. Rodriguez low left and count it for the boxers. There we go. That should seal it. Goal number five of the second half for the boxers who now lead the Warriors six to nothing with 15 and a half to go. And now into the game is Claydair Mendes, the senior forward. King Phillips must be very devastated right now. They just, I mean, after what we saw in the first half, You know, they, this game could have been either. This could have been a lot tilted the other way. Yeah. Because Brockton had maybe one or two offensive opportunities early in that first half, but King Phillip completely dominated. Yeah, definitely. King Phillips definitely completely dominated the first half. They came into the second half thinking they're going to have the same thing, idea, and Brockton just stepped it up. So it's 6 nothing. boxers, 14 and a half to go. In the second half, 
And the winner of this game will move on to play the Silver Lake Lakers who defeated Braintree 1-0. Very interesting game. Two teams, well, we saw Braintree in the regular season. Brockton able to win that one. Have not seen Silver Lake the last few years. So it'll be the Lakers traveling up to Marciano Stadium on Wednesday night. We have a 7.15 p.m. kickoff for that one. Oh, nice win. Yeah, well, it's going to be a, hopefully a nice night like it is today for that, for that game. And, uh, you know, Brockton has to step it up big time. And should the boxers win that one, they will face off. Boxers will face off against the winner of the other bracket. The four teams in that one, Wellesley, Weymouth, New Bedford, and Needham. There's only one team in that bunch that I would not feel completely confident in, and that's the team that Serve Brockton its only loss as this one saved by Beltramini. Yeah, New Bedford is a very uh, scary team, and like I said, they yeah, uh, they uh, they know how to play against Brockton. They played against each other for a very long time. The coaches know the Brockton system, and they know their style of play. So it's going to be a very interesting game if they do make it all the way to the finals, play against each other. An injury for the boxers. The other aspect of this is Brockton will have two games, uh, two days before the game on Wednesday, two full days, one day off presumably and a day of practice, and their game on Saturday and the other side of the bracket. That game's Thursday night, so there's a quick turnover for the other team that will be participating in the South Sectional Final. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's tournaments get quick, you know, around this time is usually cold in this time, so that's why they want these kids to go ahead and get this stuff done and get it usually over Usually a lot colder come the uh, second round of the MIAA <laughs> tournament. Luckily, it's about 60 degrees right now. Yeah, it feels like uh, great Florida weather over here. And that can play an aspect too. Talking with Coach Furtado, he said, we have four kids that are new to the country, let alone the cold temperatures. They're new to the country, and they have to get used to the cold as well as playing in the cold all at the same time. Yeah, ooh, nice speed. Oh. So Rodriguez is going to be called for a push. It's a good call. There was, there was something there. There was, there was. It was a little, I won't say it was a foul, but, eh, you know, give it to them. I, mean, I think it was a 50-50 on that, honestly. Plus, if Rodriguez is in on a breakaway, my prediction will not come true. <laughs> hey, actually, you got the mega numbers for um, this week? Yeah, yeah, the Powerball numbers. <laughs> yeah, need those. I already gave them to Mike the Postman Simmons. Oh, well, you know what? So we don't want to. We don't want to split the jackpot. Oh, that's my next thing. I was gonna say, let's split it. We can split it under the table. <laughs> How about that? Eleven minutes to go in the second half. It's six nothing. Boxers over the King Philip Warriors. And King Philip has been completely shell shocked here in the second half. Brockton's just been putting that pressure on them. They just can't get an answer. It seems like the King Phillips coaches put their uh, younger players in there to build some experience, knowing that this is their probably last game going forward. So see what they can build for the future for next year. Well, King Phillip with an opportunity here is going to be handled by the boxer defense. Brennan Gomes with it on the far side. Busy week for BCA Sports here at Marciano Stadium. As Wednesday will be here 
barring a few small miracles for Silver Lake and the boxers going at it in the South Sectional semifinals of the MIAA Boys Soccer Tournament. As Rodriguez is held up, Silver Lake taking over. Thursday night we'll be right back here for boxer football against the Taunton Tigers. And Saturday, if Brockton is able to win the South Sectional semifinal on Wednesday, we'll travel all the way down Route 14 <laughs> to Whitman Hanson High School. About a 20 minute ride. Not too bad. It's right next to Brockton. And that will be in the South Sectional final. Against a team to be named later, it'll be either Weymouth, Wellesley, New Bedford, or Needham. Some scary teams in that list, including the second and third seed. A cross for the Whalers and oh, a goal. Way to go. Number four with the marker, Brian McCarthy. That was a great job. Great job from dribbling on the outside, seeing the cross right into the middle, and not even taking the time to touch it. He just did a one fine touch right to the corner, beat the keeper off the guard. Great goal. Awesome. Anthony Boza assisted by Evan McAvoy for the Warriors who are now on the board. 8.40 left to go. Got a lot of the young guys out there seeing how what they do. Rocha sending this one back up. A one-time shot from Boza ended up in the top left-hand corner. And King Philip has drawn it within five goals. Mosier Ramos into the game for Brockton Number as they continue Lincoln to rotate in most, if not all, of their players. Lincoln Senna as well in for the boxers and a corner kick. Let's see if boxers can go ahead and capitalize on this. Good kick, and it's... Doven upon by Beltramini. Great save. Great save. We give it up to King Phillips fight. They, they're trying to push. They're trying to have a little bit of glimpse and hopes just to go ahead and see if they can dwindle this, this lead down that boxes have, but not looking too good right now. Not looking too good. Felipe Pinto taking that corner kick is Edson Lopes and Luis Spinola into the game for the boxers, Edson Lopes, haven't heard his name in a while, but he assisted on the first boxer goal and scored the second two. <laughs> He's just a very special player, all around good player, great kid, does good at school, and you know works hard and loves to play the game of soccer. And you know, give all big ups to the coach for doing that. And now the interesting situation. Is we're going to see Seth Anderson in goal for the Boxers. He's only a junior. He's going to be the starter next year for Brockton. Yeah, Coach Romino is saying, hey, you know what? We have the lead, a very comfortable lead. I, you know, King Phillips is throwing their young kids out there. I know we still got going, but you know what? Let me try you out here finish out the game. Great job. Good confidence for the kid to have and uh, to go into next year. Seth Anderson getting some valuable postseason experience here with the boxers up six to one. We'll see if King Philip is able to test him. Is this one slipping and sliding all the way in on Beltramini? Yeah. One thing about a keeper coming off the bench, though, he's going to get cold. He has to go ahead and get practice with these shots. And we've seen Anderson probably for the last 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. Taking balls on the sideline. Yeah. Taking balls on the sideline is a little different, though, but taking shots out in the field. <laughs> balls on the si sideline comes fast, but the shots in the field comes even faster in different angles and as well, too. But we'll see how the young kid can do out there, hold it on, see if they can 
you know, keep a shutout, clean shutout for himself. Well, Brockton is a senior heavy team. It's going to be quite interesting while they do next year with uh, a lot of the seniors leaving. 16 seniors for the boxers. That includes the three starting goalies we've seen this year. Dalton Rocha, Fabio Andrade, and David Isaac. I think Coach Amino is doing a great job rotating all of them around. And, you know, big ups. Hopefully they do get all the way to far this year. But um, he's doing such a great job. Let's see what they, he does with Seth Anderson now. Ooh, foul. Huh? No foul as the refs want to get out of here before the weather comes back. <laughs> I bet. 4.15 to go in the second half. Rockton up big, 6-1. to one. Over the King Philip Warriors in the second round of the MIAA South Sectional Tournament. Look for the switch, Brockton. You see him wide open in the outside. You have to feed him. Probably got about three minutes and 53 seconds before the rain comes back. We've got Luis Spinola in the outside, wide open. We have to have a nice cross into the other side and switch the field to play. Can we say, can we have Bohemia and Rhapsody? These six boxer goals in no particular order. Leonardo Texera, two from Edson Lopes. A penalty kick for Jonathan Rodriguez. Yeah, sure. I'll take one. Reven Rodriguez got one. And the lone goal for the King Philip Warriors, number six, Anthony Boza. I said that out loud. They heard it. Everyone's coming out. It's two and a half minutes to go. Hot dogs are free now. Gotta give one to Posty, Felix. I know. Yeah, he's greedy. <laughs> Great so it's job. Brockton in full clock management mode. Yeah, Brockton seeing that he's about two minutes, almost, almost about the two minute mark. No need for them to go ahead and put any pressure right now. Play defense, clear the ball out, make sure that everything's fine, hold the lead, hold the win. So it'll be the Silver Lake Lakers and the Brockton Boxers going at it here at Marciano Stadium on Wednesday night. We'll have it for you on Brockton Community Access. Yeah, I think uh, you know that's going to be a really good game. I think both teams did their homework on each other during the season as well, too. So it's going to be an interesting game to see uh, what Silver Lake brings out to the Boxers. Silver Lake, not a team we know too much about. As we have not seen them this year or in the last couple of years, they are the number four seed at 13, three, and three. And it should be a compelling matchup for the boxers. Yeah, it's going to be a very interesting uh, matchup to see. Boxers haven't seen them. They haven't seen the boxers. All they know is that, hey, boxers are the number one team. The <laughs> vaunted top ranked in the state boxers. <laughs> exactly. So they're just thinking, okay, we have to bring our A game to come out there in order to go ahead and try to keep, beat these guys. We've got about a minute left here in the second half. It is Leonardo Texera, Edson Lopes with two. Jonathan Rodriguez. Mario Mendoza and Junior Gomes with the six boxer goals. Boza with the lone tally for the Warriors as time close to expiring here. The 
Silver Lake defeating Braintree one to nothing in their matchup to determine who comes to play the vaunted boxers. It's going to be an interesting game, like I said. I can't wait to see it Wednesday night. I think everybody should come out here, whoever's listening to this broadcast. Come out, support your local Brockton boxers. They're doing a heck of a job out here, and they're a gr good group of kids. Now it's Lewis Spinola in with some space oh. and just a little bit too far. Too much. A little tough. bit of a miscommunication. Whistles blow, and this one has come to an end. Six to one, a victory for the Brockton Boxers. They move on to face the Silver Lake Lakers here in the South Sectional Semifinals. Roberto, something we didn't see coming in the first half. King Philip dominated for the first 20, probably 28 minutes of this one. Brockton had maybe one or two really good offensive opportunities and a completely different second half. Well, yeah, I mean, well, King Phillips came out there before 0-0, zero, zero, and they just wanted it a little bit more than the Brock in the first half. But when the second half came in, Brockton said, you know what, enough is enough. We need to go ahead and start putting some balls in the back of the net. We can't let this team hang around for so long. So big ups to King Phillips going out there, giving all they can against them in the first half. It should capitalize against Brockton in those times, but they didn't, and Brockton went to go ahead and play harder in second half and capitalize on their mistakes. Great job from both teams. King Phillips, one heck of a season. Good luck with you guys for the rest uh, next year. And Brockton, can't wait to see you guys play on Wednesday. Well, the difference in this one is going to be the halftime speech by head coach Arminio Furtado. We heard a little bit of it up here as he was laying into his team for sitting back, relaxing, thinking they could take out the King Philip Warriors very easily. And after the first, much of the first half, we thought King Philip might come in here and steal one. Hey, like I said, when you have the number one um, ranked team, if you're the number one ranked team, there's a bunch of players out there and a bunch of teams out there is definitely going to try to go ahead and knock that out of you, knock you guys down. Great job from Brockton to just go ahead and compose themselves. Good job from King Phillips. Let's see how they do on Wednesday night against uh, Silver Lake. It's Brockton with a big victory over King Phillips. Six to one, the final score in this one. Brockton again moving on to face Silver Lake Wednesday night right here at Marciano Stadium. A 7.15 p.m. kickoff in that one. We'll be here for Brockton Community Access. And for everyone here at Brockton Community Access, our cameraman, Mike the Postman Simmons, hey. my broadcast partner Roberto Neves, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you next game. Goodbye.